Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30 day free trial at audibletrial.com slash PST podcast. Audible has over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. And for those of you who have existential dread, I recommend The Book of Cthulhu, tales inspired by H.P. Lovecraft, written by Ross E. Lockhart. And if you're a saucy dad like myself, or can't read past a third grade level like David, I recommend The Little Engine That Could, or (laughs) The Cat in the Hat, by Dr. Seuss. What do you mean? What? You think I can't read? Uh... That's audible.com <laughs> slash Link in the description. PST podcast. Link in the description. <laughs> wow. Welcome to the podcast. Do you really think that's good enough? Go back. Do it again. No, no I no, don't. No, no. You, you go back. You go back. <laughs> oh. Welcome to the podcast. Yes. We're in a fucking hotel Very lobby, nice. everybody. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the fourth episode of the Please Stop Talking podcast. I am your host, Avery. You might know me better as Shammy. I'm joined today, as always, by my friend, David. Hi. My enemy, Kyle. Wait, what? Why, why and enemy? my special guest, Cameron. Oh, okay. <laughs> always. <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, okay. So, who are we? Uh, this is going to be a Q&A episode a Q and A episode. We're podcast. doing a. It's yeah. We're doing a Q and A episode of the podcast this week. Oh boy! And uh, we asked for questions on Twitter and on Reddit, and not on YouTube. <laughs> Most of them suck, but we're going to go. Most through of them, them do suck, but no we're going to go through and we're going to answer all of the worst ones. No, only, only <laughs> that's ones. just not true. We're not about good stuff. The question <laughs> we got the most, and the question we got when we asked for topics for the podcast at the very beginning was to talk about how, how we, we met. all met. I'm sorry, I didn't join in. I thought we were going to be sync, but you know, I thought we were too, but <sighs> Cameron letting everybody New Zealand's down. just always out of touch, man. Oof. The fucking musician over here plays the piano, doesn't know how to fucking harmonize. Jeez. Mm. Alright. <laughs> Positive vibes, boys. Let's go. <laughs> I'm very tired. I'm gonna get that out of the way. Like at the beginning of this episode, we were supposed to record this three hours ago. Three. And I'm very it was tired. Five hours Two hours ago. ago. Five hours ago. Several Whatever. hours ago. Anyways. But we didn't, and it's very late, and I'm very sleepy. How did we all meet? How did we all meet? Okay, uh, I'm, I'm saving timeline. how Let's... I met Kyle for last. Oh, Kyle, really? okay, shut up. Well, if we go okay. timeline wise, I guess we we'll start with me and you, Avery, because that's we're not going timeline. That's the opposite of Kyle. What do you mean? Because I was first. Wise. You're the middle. In what way are you? <laughs> the, <laughs> not, why are you the? <laughs> why are you the first person if on any timeline? We start in the middle of the timeline. We're going said, timeline wise because you said. I'm saving cows for last while I said the timeline thing, so okay. that means I'm right. next. Well, I mean, you said it afterwards, I... but it's alright. I liked it better Did when I? you sounded like an idiot. I'm <laughs> gonna be honest. Well... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, go ahead. Yeah, okay, sure. sure. I... So, I met Avery because I sent him a message on YouTube. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I was... And you responded? Meet him. And you yeah, can he meet him God, too. That works. <laughs> Everyone, send Avery a Shut message f- via don't YouTube send, DMs. Don't do that. Did you mute him? You I just, no, I, I just muted myself. Just mute yourself, <laughs> Why? I like, I like hit my hotkey. I like I'm that sorry. you tried to stop yourself from making that joke. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he did it for you, man. Don't, don't, don't DM me on YouTube. Please. Yeah, That's so, how he um, met David, and he doesn't want to meet anyone like David. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. One David is Thank enough. Thank you, Kyle, for understanding. Yeah. I sent, <laughs> we met- yeah. I sent him a message. I was like, hey, man, I'm an audio engineer from Canada, and I'm looking for things to add to my resume. First of all. You did not say you were from Canada, and we will get to that later. Oh, right. <laughs> that was right. an didn't. issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, anyways, and I was like, would you be interested in me mixing in the fucking voiceovers for your videos and mastering? It? And he was like, and I, I sent that like... When I did the name change. Ten, ten months ago when he did the name change, and then... I did the... Uh, wait. I did the name change well over a year ago at this point. I did who, the name change in May. Who cares? 
Anyways, okay, you, whatever. you answered... Uh, I think in December. In December? I didn't see it. No, you didn't. You answered No, I answered in, in November. November. And then a and month then you responded again in December. Yeah, a month afterwards, I saw it. Because the thing is, YouTube's messaging system sucks and doesn't tell it you does, when you get a message. It does, and it's fucking hidden. Like the, like, the fact that the only convenient way to get to your YouTube messages is to type youtube.com slash messages in your fucking URL bar, whatever, is fucking ridiculous. That is, yeah, that's yeah. pretty Isn't stupid. it just like a DM button? Or... No, it's uh-huh. it's hard to get to. Messages are hard to get to if you don't just type it into the address bar. So short story short, David was an audio guy and was like, "Hey, audio." What? And then, <laughs> yep. Short yeah. story and that, short. And then <laughs> he added me on uh, Discord, and the first message we talked, we said was like, "Hey, what are you up to?" And then I was like, <laughs> "Yeah." I think- I this said, is nothing, just laying I in bed said, this, is, <laughs> this is the question you all <laughs> wanted the answer to. Yeah. <laughs> These yeah. are the stories you have to look <laughs> forward to. <laughs> he, he, I, I remember we had, a, he, we, he started asking questions and now I, we were like just fucking talking about whatever. And then eventually he was like, I was like, sorry if my English is not good because it's not my first language. And he was like, oh, what's your first language? And I was like, Africans. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And then I, Thrilling. <laughs> and yeah, at that point, Avery knew he wanted him as his <laughs> audio engineer. And then he I I he was like, Oh really? That's interesting. And I just sent him like a Google translated uh message, I guess, and it was just The story is boring. It's so boring. Alright, moving on. <laughs> so then then after David, since he already knew me and we're gonna do me last, he met Cameron, which happened. To Why are we week. only? I mean, I guess, I guess we're only doing how everyone met me because the answer to how Kyle met Cameron, how Kyle met David, how David met Cameron is a, me. Well, it's yeah, me. it was. Well, <laughs> yes. I mean, I yeah. technically met David by like when we started this podcast thing. Like we all dro- made a server, and I started talking to David, and um. I thought he was cool, so I added him to my server. Isn't that sad? Uh, no. What? <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, right. Technically. <laughs> I met Kyle first. Uh, Did you? Yeah. Oh. oh. Entry I mean, into a oh boring story. There is no payoff. I'm assuming. <laughs> I assume. <laughs> Cameron, I mean, I assume you met Kyle in the same place you met me. Yeah. So also through me. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Uh, so I basically, the way I found out about Avery is that um, he was in the recommended tab of a video I was watching and it was about a game. It was about No Man's Sky, which is like a game I just got burned by. And I was like, you're right. And so I clicked on it. I, cl- <laughs> I clicked on it and I was like, oh, this is a well-made video. And then I saw, it was just when you uploaded your Patreon video, I think. And I was like, so, and then I saw that you Recent. had a Discord. Yeah. So uh, I just, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll go join that Discord. <laughs> okay. And then you're in it one day, and I was like, hey, how's it going? And then you slid into my DMs. Yeah, no, and- specifically... Spe- <laughs> <laughs> we should explain what... <laughs> so, specifically, Cameron joined... Uh, it Like, I joined the server, and I was alone, because sometimes I like to join, and I like to see how long it takes for someone to join me in that server, because it's funny to me. <laughs> so... I joined, and then after something like 20 fucking minutes, like, Cameron just jumps in, and he's like... I'm not gonna do an accent. I was about to try yeah. to do an accent, and I was gonna, I was gonna oh, fucking do David the fuck out of it. I can do it. No, 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 no. Type in what he no. said. Type in what he said. I was about to turn said. into fucking all Type in what twist. he said. No, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the accent. Well, I mean, he just good. said hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> what? What? All right, stop, stop. No, we're not going <laughs> any deeper into this. We have so many questions we need to answer. Yes, we don't have time for this. So. Unlike these fanboys over here, Avery and I met in a different whoa, whoa, way. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. We're not done with Cameron's story yet. Cameron <laughs> oh, me on, down. on my fan server, and it was good because he was. we were just mean to each other. Yeah? <laughs> it's basically what happened. What? Ah, uh, you said some dumb joke and I called you an idiot. <laughs> if I yeah, remember it was correctly. great. <laughs> <laughs> You made like the, you were like, like you man, go. meeting you is so disappointing, and I was like, I know. 
<laughs> That's pretty much how it started, yeah. So, Kyle and I. Kyle and I have known each other for... Since before the YouTube thing. Oh yeah, well before <laughs> the YouTube thing. Kyle and I have known each other since 2011? I want to say. Yeah, 2012-ish? Yeah, 2011, 2011. 2012. Yeah. Uh, Kyle and I met through our mutual friend Chandler, who I met through my internet friend Jared, who is Canadian. <laughs> Unfortunately, and retarded. Um, oh. You've met two Jared, two. Kyle. <laughs> you've <laughs> met him. Canadians he honks at people. <laughs> Canadians get a lot of shit on this. On this, they podcast. do. We'll talk about that later. There's a reason. But, what? <laughs> Are you gonna go on? Continue me or some shit? No. Okay. Fucking. I don't trust you. Kyle and I met through our friend Chandler, and I fucking hated Kyle. So much. See, I was like a twelve-year-old. I was a twelve-year-old, like, and he was older than twelve, so he I knew I was 14. a twelve-year-old. <laughs> I was fourteen. I was a fucking big boy. Yeah, <laughs> and God, so no I was just naturally annoying and loud, and he didn't like me. And one I was bit. also annoying and loud, but I thought I was better. Yeah, so he had two years on me. Hated but I was him like, that dude has so an attitude. much. And I was like, every single time it would just pop up X Raging X TX Bag X. Join the <laughs> oh, Xbox oh, Live oh, Party. Oh, God. Way to out. Me, yeah. the fuck? We're gamertag dropping now, Kyle. This is why I saved you for last. Uh, <laughs> die. Raging okay. Bag. All right. That's, that's, that's honestly not even my worst gamertag. So. Oh, my God. Bag. What the fuck was your Raging Tea Bag? What was tea your bag. worst oh, gamertag? No, it's Kyle? fine. We can move on. This is for another day. We gotta, you brought we gotta this continue. up yourself. <laughs> What you but anyways, oh, I'm sorry. I'm we glad didn't... we're not on a podcast where our job is to entertain. Just fucking <laughs> drop that fucking bomb. I had a gamer tag worse than X Raging XTX Bag XX. I, I I am not going to say my worst name on the podcast. I'll Why? Say that. Why? It's not something I should say. What on are the you podcast? a fucking put? Oh, oh god. god. Well, okay. <laughs> well, moving on. <laughs> okay. You. But basically, we didn't like each other, so we didn't talk to each other except for when Chandler was in the same Xbox Live party. Mm-hmm. And then, however many years later, like three years, four years? I three. think it was, there was like a one or two year period in which we didn't say, like, because I, di- I didn't talk to Chandler at all in that time, so I had, by proxy, of course, I didn't fucking talk to you. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, and then after all that time, when I got, I when I finally moved over to uh, playing games on... Uh, PC, uh, Chandler started, Chandler, like, got back into contact with me because he had also started playing games on PC with and his friends. And therefore I also started playing games And therefore games Kyle on PC. had also started playing games and then, on PC. Meaning they all turned into adults. So oh, how man. I remember oh, it- Oh my god, Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. That's so your joke. Remember, that is your I joke. I know it's my joke. Ca- Cameron, that is a joke. Be- <laughs> Ever- Never mind. I don't even want to fucking go into it. So how <laughs> I remember it happening from there is uh, I went through like a few friend groups and we picked up Greg. And then at some point I joined Chandler. Has there been a podcast on. that Greg did not come up in yet? No. Maybe. There has <laughs> not been. How can he not bring up the Greg, base Let me tell you something about existed. Yeah. Greg is a fucking lad. Okay. Greg is an angel. Let's I'm continue, so, though. But let's but not turn this into the Greg cast. Me, Chandler, and Greg, I think, joined the same Skype call as Avery, and then mm-hmm. Greg loved Avery and just stuck around, so whenever <laughs> we had to see Greg, we had to see Avery, and then I was older, Avery was older, and we weren't, like, the worst people on the Greg planet. Greg sounded 28, but he was yeah. 15. Yeah. It was good. It was good times. I wasn't 12, and he wasn't 14, therefore we got along, and so then we kept talking. Did he sound like he sounds right now? Yes, yes, oh he did. Voice he sounded like he does right now when he was 15 years old. Of course. Fucking deep ass man voice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I think that covers. That's, I think that more yeah, or less covers much. it. Yeah. I just wanted. I just wanted to gamer tag drop. If I'm honest, that's the only reason I wanted to save you for <laughs> yeah, last. Because that's <laughs> hilarious. Uh, <laughs> All right. All someone right. pick a question. Um. Oh well, here's one. Who would win? Sword with a gun. No, or a are gun we with opening with that one? That's the most That's important the, question. I mean, it was right there. It's like <laughs> the most I genuinely think, one. I genuinely what? think a sword with a gun would beat sword a with gun, gun with wins. a sword. Will anyone? Will anyone contest that uh, sword with a gun wins? Are you no. dumb? No, gun with a sword. Wait, are you no, kidding gun me? with a sword. No, what? absolutely not. Wait, gun with a sword. Cameron, no. Cameron, yeah. do you Cameron, Cameron, do you understand? Cameron, Cameron, no, you, no, listen. The real countries are talking right now. Cameron, sit the fuck down. Oh my god. Listen, listen to me. 
Do okay. you look at look at those fucking pictures for a second? And I yeah. need you to fucking understand something, Cameron. They're scaled. That is a <laughs> butter knife sized sword that the gun is holding. The sword has a regular ass fucking gun. <laughs> no, they're not scaled. No, that's a giant gun. Yes, they are. That's a giant gun. That's a giant gun. That's not a giant gun. That's not a giant gun. No, it's not. A giant gun. It's not. No, it's scales. Here it's scales. I'm replying. I'm, re I'm replying right now. Is that a giant gun? <laughs> It's not. Is a he giant gonna answer? Gun. Is he gonna answer? No, it is. No, he's asleep. He's British. You don't fucking know that. I do know that. Okay, I know who. Avery, I know who he Avery, is. Okay, Avery, well, we'll find out by the time this podcast Avery, comes out, Avery, won't we? Listen, <laughs> listen, Avery. Okay. What? Even if it is. Okay. The sword with the gun can't swing the sword and shoot because, like, it's gonna throw <laughs> itself. And okay, shoot, and okay. it's gonna like aim like shit. But hey, David, the gun David, can look at you and shoot you, you shoot, while swinging. You shoot a sword with a gun. It does not completely fucking destroy the sword. I'm taking my you shoot scale. a gun with a gun. You shoot a gun with a gun. The gun gets destroyed by the fucking bullet. <laughs> is it a I'm strong gun? I'm taking my fucking it's just scale a fucking from gun. the arms. What do you mean? Is it a strong yeah, gun? Do you I'm think it's gun? Do you the think, what do you mean? Is this, I mean, has this gun, has, has it been fucking, has he been deadlifting? Is I don't know, has it been lifting? This is literally the first time Kyle and I have agreed on anything. <laughs> I feel like Avery and I, like, since we're the country that allows guns, I think we, we kind of know. We know guns. I know guns. <laughs> Shoot a gun with a gun, it's not a fucking gun. <laughs> Anyways, Checkmate. I didn't think that would be that. I just thought we'd all agree sort of the gun. No, I, don't know, we'd have idiots well, on I, I knew we would have at least one idiot on this podcast. <laughs> oh, sort of the gun wins. Sort of the gun wins. No, you're an no, idiot. You're a fucking idiot. Everybody unsubscribe. He's oh wrong. God. You're a no fucking moron. On a side just, note, someone asked, what do you, someone asked you what you think about becoming friends with fans. Fuck off. You see what happens? When you become friends with fans, you get people telling you that a gun with a sword could beat a sword oh with a gun. It's, no, a gun with exactly. sword. it's a it's basically a hey, walking notice, fucking cannon. Notice, hey, it's a, under, it's a hey, walking notice cannon. Notice, something, notice something, please, for a second. It's, notice, a it's not a giant a gun, Cameron. It's not a giant gun. It is a giant gun. Look at the arms. It's not. You can't Why do you think it's a giant gun? You can make it just a giant gun. gun. It's a regular gun. Have you seen a person that small? <laughs> that <laughs> <they're> taking, <laughs> Okay, we should move on. I don't think no, we're gonna absolutely him. not. Oh I'm not going to find you a can't, resolution. You here. can make it. No, shut the fuck up. You can make a big gun. You can't make a small person. <laughs> it's not a small person. The gun just has an arm. No, it just has arms. It's a, oh my god, Cameron! If listen, that's a giant gun, right. then that's a giant sword. <laughs> Cameron, it's not you're a right giant about the gun. gun with the sword winning, but you're wrong with the fucking small person. The gun thing. with the sword does not win, David. You yes, don't know anything is. about guns. You're Canadian. You you're scared of them. A small person. <laughs> I'm not wrong. I'm right. Cameron, also, do you know what babies are? Are you familiar? <laughs> yeah. you do you think a baby a has person. a fucking arm smaller than a finger? <laughs> a midget baby? <laughs> a maybe? <laughs> <laughs> all right no i don't even fu i don't i hope you all enjoyed cameron's last appearance on this podcast <laughs> okay so, okay no 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 <laughs> hang on <laughs> before we get never mind who can it, it, yeah no 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 no, no. case listen no i'm making a video wrong. essay on this everyone needs had. to understand <laughs> Everyone You're needs wrong. to fucking understand that a sword with a gun would beat a fucking gun with a sword. Can we just have and the if you comments think otherwise, pick sides? Uh, can you pick sides? No, the, com the comments are morons. I don't fucking care what they say. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, he's still being wrong. He's I'm questions. smart. Look at my <laughs> fucking brain. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Speaking of what Avery just said, has gaining popularity in the media made you realize anything about yourself that you can like? You, can we should say who's asking the questions, by the way. At, oh, turbo, yeah, at uh, turbo Button, at underscore, at Turbo underscore Button, asked the sword of the gun, gun with the sword question. Thanks, yeah. asshole. Thanks, you fucking life ruiner. You ruined um, our fucking podcast over. See you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kyle, you, who is, what? I was just asking Khalith's question at Khalith. Okay. I has gaining popularity in the media made you realize anything about yourself that you either like or dislike? Which I don't think is a very good question because well, uh, that I wouldn't say made me realize anything. Um, has it really made me realize much? Most of the things I kind of, I kind of figured. I already knew I I didn't. I don't really like. 
I don't. I already knew I don't really like being the center of attention, which is a big reason why I mostly avoid, uh, like being in the fan server. Like it's why I'm in, I'm in voice rarely there because I don't enjoy being the center of attention. Uh, I don't know. Not really. None of us are famous except for Cameron. Cameron, what's it like except being famous? Yeah, what is it yeah. like being famous? <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, is it? Yeah, you like I being like... the center of attention. Yeah, no, dude, I wish I it's was great. Um, 20 Damn. people outside my house right now. They're all taking oh, photos dude. of me. Uh, yeah. They, yeah. Ooh, strike a pose. Nice. You're never lonely. God. God. Yeah, right? Strike a pose. I mean, they, they don't talk to me. I think we should answer uh, the question Cameron brought up a little bit ago that was from at Zane Tweet uh, that says favorite game genres. <laughs> uh, I don't Can really I... have one. Go ahead. JRPGs. Of course. Um, okay. okay. I'd, I'd, <laughs> I'd probably say... I don't know. RPGs are like... W- my favorite games are usually RPGs, but it takes me a while to get into them. So, like, I'd say they're my favorite genre when it's, like, a good RPG. But, like, if if it's if it doesn't grip me, like, it's... I don't know. It, I... I find myself most attracted to just competitive games. Yeah, if they, Kyle's competitive. If oh there's a ranking, God. then I can probably... If, if there's if a Kyle ranking, can, I think I can be happy. If Kyle can ruin it. the game for all of his friends to win, that's Kyle's game. I don't yep. want to play PUBG with him anymore. Because <laughs> Kyle needs to fucking win. He needs he, to break top 100 billion PUBG in North America, David. I fucking hate playing with you. You're so mean to me. You fucking <laughs> yell at me. It's okay. like, we're just having a good old time, and I'm talking, and you're like, shut the fuck up. I, I need think to you're mistaking to the me person. with Tachi. You're all the Welcome. same. You're the same as you're Tachi, same. Kyle. You play that game the same way. You're I play exactly seriously, but I don't scream at people. To- you're Anyways. right. You don't scream. You're both incredibly passive-aggressive. Extremely, yes. Okay, so this next question is from at the salty moth. Uh, this Ooh. is for everyone and may have already been asked, but who is your inspiration for cre- creating? If you have David. one, David, me, yeah, uh, mine's Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, wait, uh, m- did you answer your answer? Was me, yeah, <laughs> wow, that's extremely sad. I barely create anymore, <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, that's uh, not true. I just don't release anything. That is true. I, I'm aware. Yeah. Uh, my, I mean, uh, Kyle? Uh, fuck, what question? What? I was reading other questions. <laughs> the fucking, uh, who is your, insp- what is your, ins- who is your inspiration oh. for creating? For creating. I don't create. So. I know, that's why I asked you. <laughs> so, Cameron. <laughs> Kyle's a consumer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Should I, you, you should probably explain that you're a film student. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm a film for student. For this question, for context, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm a film student, so I, I, I... Well, I've made a few films, but, like, they're short, shitty films. Ooh. Uh, but my... Ins- I don't know if I have, like, a one inspiration. I guess I've just, like, watched a lot of movies and, like... I know. I, I guess I don't have a person who is my inspiration, but like more the idea of storytelling is kind of what inspires me to to make things because I feel like it's the I don't know. It's a, it's a format where you can express um, ideas and stuff. What like if that. okay? What if we change the question instead of who inspires you, like who is the most influential to you and your creations? Yeah. Because like everybody has a billion inspirations. Yeah, for sure. So that uh, I'll just sense. start off by saying I don't really have a desire to create like you know. any sort of content and which and it kind of baffles me like how many people want to get into YouTube and I'm like I don't know I well, just not don't just YouTube it. creating anything well yeah but like when I see like well I like, mean creating it, movies I mean, is something I could get behind I, okay. and if I were Let, wanted uh, to create one thing it'd be music but well it, before the advent of Twitch like what a lot of people. A lot of people got into YouTube because what they wanted to do was they wanted to play video games and make money from it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. They didn't really... I mean, this is might be just me, me like, projecting, but, like, they just... They didn't they didn't want to create anything. They wanted to play video games and get paid yeah. for it, effectively. Exactly. Um, but and now you can see but, that in the low-effort content that's on YouTube, like, everywhere. Yeah. Absolutely. 
It's everywhere. A lot of people don't a lot of people don't want to get into YouTube because they have that drive to create. They want to get into YouTube because they want uh what they would consider to be like easy money or what they were fucking fame. Like Yeah, the ones who <laughs> internet fame. <laughs> okay. The ones who have a real drive to create either create without trying to make it their full job or make money off of it or they yeah. just are have the high quality videos, the ones that they really put their effort into. Yeah. Mm. For me, uh, my influences are like mostly because I make electronic music. For those who are unaware, <laughs> <laughs> SoundCloud at <laughs> so, SoundCloud. Send me out. Send me out. Anyways, send me out. That does not help anyone, David. Like, saw it. Send me out. I'm mostly inspired. I'm I'm inspired by so many artists, but honestly, my biggest inspiration is probably like uh, Porter Robinson. Sakura Burst, fucking, oh my god, I have so many. Kid? Kid. I really love Kid. Kid is, like, out there right, right we'll, now. We'll leave you Varian, at three. <laughs> Varian is really good, too. Everybody go listen to Varian. Anyways. You don't have to. That's, um, no, you do. <laughs> uh, I kind of already said my thing. is like, I don't know, just storytelling. Like, uh, the fact that you can... Hmm. I don't know. It's just like you can Didn't put you tell ideas me out there. Edgar Wright the other day? Was he like what? a massive inspiration for you? Or am I completely making that up? Uh I mean I like him a lot. <laughs> I wouldn't say he's my favorite director, but uh yeah, I like him a lot. Ooh, fucking... Sorry, Edgar. Yes, sorry, Edgar. Pickle <laughs> asks... Wait, wait, Avery first. Oh, or... um I mean like the obvious one is my my style is influenced by like zero punctuation, Yahtzee. Um and that's, I mean, that's mostly just, that's mostly comes down to the fact that he, I've been watching him for so long. Like I've been watching him since I was 12 years old and he's just, was a big influence on my sense of humor itself. So I guess that, I don't think he was the biggest influence on my sense of humor. I think the biggest influence on, on my sense of humor would be someone like Mike Birbiglia or like Bo Burnham or someone, but yeah, I guess for videos, I would say probably like Yahtzee Croshaw or Mike Rabiglia. But like, can I, can I go off that? Like, why did you s decide that you wanted to start making YouTube videos in particular? Like, uh, oh, what drove you um, that? I don't really know. It was, it happened. I, I, <laughs> what happened? Is that what you asked? It, it no, just happened. It happened. Oh, it just happened. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I, I decided I liked the creative freedom of it. I mean, like when I was a fucking young the when I was a dumb piece of shit, young fuck, it was oh because boy. I wanted to I wanted to make I wanted to make money for playing video games. <laughs> like if 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 Twitch if Twitch had been like a thing back then, I absolutely would have tried to be a streamer because I just wanted to play video games and make money. I didn't really I was like, mm. oh I do it because I love it. You didn't yeah. have at, like the, at that time I absolutely did. At what, sorry? You didn't have a creative drive? No, not I mean I did I not that I didn't have a creative drive. I didn't have a creative drive for YouTube. I had a creative drive for other things. I've always Yeah, cuz weren't you mm. always really into writing? So like I've always that's been how very into writing. Into script writing yeah, for that's, your videos. Yeah, that's that's what okay, made me well. decide to start scripting my videos because I lo I love writing. I write comedy stuff all the time, like even yeah. when it's not for videos. At pestering pickle asks, what would no you transition? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. Do, we, do you need a fucking transition? No, no, okay. no. We this don't, is we don't. Spe <laughs> Speaking of blah blah blah, Pestering Pickle asks, "What would you say each of your favorite game is? No list, no ties, just a top game that each of you have ever played." Mm, I don't know. That's really hard. Slide two. Slide two. Ah, really? If we're Slide going off good. nostalgia. Slide two. Oh no! Nostalgia off. totally counts. Nostalgia, okay. you can totally consider oh, nostalgia. Okay, well, Final Fantasy Nine, Cameron, um, probably The Witcher Three. Honestly, I really love that Ooh. game. Oh man, it's the fucking basic bitch. Did. Whoa, dude! <laughs> there you go. I uh, like. I, I played say... The Witcher Two before The Witcher Three was announced. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Halo Three for me. Don't worry I think Halo Three. Yeah, Halo, Halo Three. I lost so much of my life to Halo 3's multiplayer. Yeah. I got so. Fucking fat. It was great. I've got a lot of nostalgia <laughs> for like Halo Reach and stuff like that. I, I have. See, I have that for three. Like I've talked mm. to Chan Chandler has that for Halo Reach because like that's the that was the one he played. Yes. Yeah, um. I fucking lost my fucking life to Halo Three though. 
Oh, funny uh, thing. I made a really popular map in Halo Reach. I made a really, really popular custom games map. The, oh, uh, right. I remember that. You told yeah, me Yeah, it was like yeah. there's a fucking video of Rooster Teeth playing on it with sea nanners. Like, it's huh. bizarre. Yeah, it's uh, it's called Tornado Arena. I don't know if So when are they coming on the podcast then? Awesome. <laughs> Actually, next episode. Brace yourselves, David, boys. Burn those bridges. I actually just called. <laughs> I just called them. They're on in a couple minutes. All right, great. They're backstage. Okay, so can I another question? Me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Go for it. About twenty three koalas on Reddit asks David, "Do you feel that your other co hosts are racist against Canadians?" Yes. Right. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so speaking of the subreddit and David and Canadians, oh, real what a Punk transition Duck on Reddit asked, "What are your thoughts on goblins?" <laughs> <laughs> I, I know one, and he's pretty awful. <laughs> I think Hate they him. are neat and great. Okay, well, I think goblin is probably my favorite word. If I'm honest, I think goblin is fucking hilarious. Goblin word. is really fun to say. It's too. a fucking oh such a God. fun word to say. Very nice. Uh, Very that's nice. all I wanted to say. Oh fuck! I just got uh, wait. I had one. Give me a second. At Animorex YT. I don't know how to say your name. Sorry. What? How did Excuse you guys me? come up with the idea and name for the podcast? I don't know this, sir. So you guys. No, oh, I just thought it was a funny name for a podcast. Yeah. Okay. So the podcast was supposed to come out like months oh, podcast- ago, like in fucking oh, December, fucking- actually. Uh, yeah, actually, I've been wanting to do, I've been planning on like starting a podcast since I made the ReCore review. Yeah. If you go... To the pinned comment on the record review, you can see me like talking about it. But yeah, I I just I just I just like remember I was thinking because I just started working with you on videos and like you were really like you really wanted me to be like part of not part of your videos but like uh, I think it was Titanfall two when I did the glitches and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were involving me way more, and I was like, maybe I could uh, tell him, like, if you want to do a podcast, I'll be, uh, I'll help you, like, edit it and mix it. And you were really down, and that's when I met Kyle, actually. Oh, yeah. 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 That same night. Fancy boy. Yep. No, um, that's pretty much it. It's not really super interesting. I mean, why'd you decide to make a podcast? I've wanted to make a podcast for a very long time, even before I was like, like I've been, I've actually wanted to make uh, podcasting has just always seemed really fun to me. I don't know, just it's the idea of it is uh, has always been really appealing to me. I listen to a fuck ton of podcasts. Same. Or I used to. I don't listen to very many anymore. Oh, not but same. I. I I mean, I still listen to some. Like, there are a few podcasts that I listen to, like, religiously. Like, I religiously listen to um, uh, The Weekly Planet still. And I still listen to, like, a lot of the podcasts that Sans Pants Radio does. Yeah, Sans Pants is great. Sans Pants is very good. Sans Pants follows me on Twitter. Ooh. Hey, Sans Pants. (laughs) So (laughs) wrong. No, yeah. I love Sans Pants. All those guys are great. Yeah. But, yeah. I, st- I, I just always, I listened to a lot of podcasts. I thought it would be something that I would enjoy doing. So I did, I wanted to do it. And basically. are you enjoying doing it? <sighs> <laughs> Next question. Who's your yeah, favorite uh, host? <laughs> I got uh, Vickle Media on okay. the subreddit asks, Shami, tell us about your life as a theater student, short-lived though it may be. Um, I went to college not because I wanted to go to college, but because my parents really wanted me to go to college. So I decided to, if I was going to go to college, I would get a degree in something that actually interested me. And that was performance, because I've always been very interested in performance. And so I. But he hates the limelight. (laughs) It's I don't. It's not that I hate the limelight. I I really enjoy performing. I just hate being the center of attention. Uh, It's. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. You're right. But <laughs> but uh but um I realized very early on that I did not really get along with the other theater students very well in the sense that theater students specifically Snobby? performance specifically acting majors in college are insane. They're Insane. crazy people. How They're crazy. snobby and or mm. completely fucking crazy. Egotistical? 
Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. There's ev- everyone wow. has a everyone has an ego problem, including like, you. Yes, absolutely. Uh, me worst <laughs> of all. Every oh I don't know. I I just didn't I just didn't get along with any of the people there. I was miserable. I had finished all of my acting training, which is what my major was. I finished all of my acting training uh, halfway through my sophomore year, and the rest of my time at college would just be spent doing bullshit classes that don't actually like have anything to do with my major. So I just decided that I... And I was fucking... I was just miserable. Like co- I, College just, just wasn't the place for me. I had no... I had one friend. I had Jake. Jake, is my, Jake was my friend in college, but that was pretty much it. And mm. so I dropped out. Shut the fuck up, dog! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey um, guys, can we call PETA? Like, <sighs> Christ. Um, at MemoJ67 asks, In a single player game, what is more important for you? Story, characters, lore, or good mecha- mechanics? Good mechanics come first. Story. Good mechanics. Good oh. mechanics come first. Story comes second. If the what gameplay the doesn't one? feel good to play continuously, I'm not gonna I play think, it continuously. I think mechanics comes first. Story and characters come second, and lore is last for me. Yeah. If you can't, story, I don't. I don't. I don't think me. you can really be saved on good lore if everything else sucks. Um, if your games, if your single player okay, game is really well. good, your mechanics and your story will tie together. Yeah, that is yeah. actually that is very very true. If you if really. I mean, that's not even if your single player game is good. That's if your single player game is excellent. Then those two things mm. will tie together. Because like storytelling mm. through mechanics is incredibly, incredibly fucking difficult. And it's also the reason why storytelling in games is like really good. <laughs> like, yeah, it's it's how we, you get well, people involved in your story. We can do story. like an entire fucking. I don't, we we can, yeah. if we go down this like conversation path, we're gonna be talking about it for like twenty minutes, Cameron. I feel yeah. yeah so I, we should I probably agree. just move, move on. on. Yeah. 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 I didn't even uh, say anything. You didn't even. Let do you want to say? You go ahead. Go ahead, David. I think that if his story is good enough, I can excuse. At Bagel Boy sixty. Oh Sorry. my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. No, go ahead. Go ahead. If your no, story is okay. good enough, it can carry past yeah. mechanics. Are you talking about well, walking simulators? No. I don't like that term, but I'll talk about that in a video at some point. No, I, I'm more talking about like if the story is really good, but the mechanics are okay. I can excuse it. I th- but the if thing the, is, if the, story if the is mechanics really are terrible, oh terrible, then it's not really enjoyable. Like if if it well, is no. the only if thing that is, is really terrible, good, it's not enjoyable. No, no, what let's are you talking about. Let's not necessarily. I can enjoy I a bad with story that. with a I can, very I, fun. If a to game play has game. a really fucking terrible story, but I the guess. mechanics are really really fun, it's still mm. an enjoyable experience. Like, I guess. I don't know. Doom is a bad example, but Doom doesn't have a story. And like, but the mechanics are it fucking. Technically, does. Great. Well, yeah, yeah, it does. But like, the mechanics you know what are I'm very saying? good. Like, it's yeah. not. I know. No, I, I know I, what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. It's not a good story. Yeah. <laughs> like, Spec Ops: The Lines got great mechanics and a shitty story. <laughs> so. <laughs> 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 that was the joke. I really like that game. Don't hurt me. Avery, what's the uh, what's the question you really wanted to talk about? I just read the first name I saw. I don't actually want to read that question. <laughs> No, the uh, no, I mean like the one that you said you wanted to spend the most. It was the fucking gun knife. It was the gun sword question. <laughs> it was really. Yeah, it was. That's the only question I cared about this entire time, and you fucking opened with it. <laughs> oh shit, my bad. <laughs> Jay Walker, okay. Jay Walker five five four on Reddit asks, "What's everyone? Yeah, what's everyone's best way to deal with creative block? Also, do any of you guys use the word rad often? Yes, I do." I use rad. I think I used I didn't like rad a lot. for a while, but I did. Um, no, or I do now. I, d- I don't usually use rad. Cameron is way too we're, rad. We're the rad lads, though. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I mean, that's the yeah. only time I say rad is when I, I'm referencing the Talk rad lads. Talk about the rad lads. Yeah. yeah. The rad lads. Yeah. Uh, so the question about creative blocks, David, do you have one? I take a shower. Oh, okay. I take well, a mine- shower or I just stop for 10 minutes or more. Just close it, go do something else, come back. There you go. Uh, my Usually. advice when dealing with creative blocks is to pivot, take a break, and try and make something completely fucking different from what you usually do. I have been having um, oh yeah, that too. A lot Just of really, really, really bad creative blocks working on my the review that I'm currently working on, but it's it's finally almost 
the fucking script is so close to being done. I'm so excited. Um, but that's the reason I made that, uh, that E3 video, um, which was a fucking nightmare to make, by the way, to organize that shit was miserable. Sorry, I'm burping. But uh, the reason I made that E3 video was one, because I thought it was a funny idea, and two, because it was so, so different than anything else I had ever made on my channel before that it really, really helped me like get past like a really fucking terrible creative block I was having working on uh, both this review and another like project I'm doing outside of YouTube. And yeah, that's that's my advice. Do something completely fucking different. Yeah. Uh, I don't have an answer for creators block because when it's happened to me, I just like stare at the page for like twenty minutes, and I'm thinking I'm die? gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> at <laughs> Jack <laughs> underscore Odette asked, "What is the most slept on game in the market right I now?" I was gonna. Yep. Okay. Um. I think for multiplayer, we all have the same answer. Yes, yeah. but it's yeah, not it's gigantic slept on anymore. Yeah, gigantic. Honestly. Yeah, I mean, it's still kind of slept on. It's got mostly positive reviews on Steam. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, like it has an actual player base now. Like we, when we yeah. were fucking once playing it, it to Steam and like yeah, once it finally got a non Windows it. 10 release, and I mean, like the Steam release is still on the Arc launcher, which sucks, but. Yeah, I fucking love Gigantic. Gigantic is a fantastic game. It's Ooh, so I, good. If we're talking play, single, if you have only four gigabytes of RAM. It's dumb. Yo, it's it's uh, <laughs> it's a bad <sighs> game. Bad game mechanics. Oh my fucking god! The fucking don't read the reviews for Gigantic on Steam. All the fucking negative reviews are people complaining about the fact that they can't play it without six gigs of RAM. Like, Fair warning. If you try, if you if you do choose to try Gig Gigantic, because we recommend it. Just ignore the tutorial. Like, do you it, have to play the tutorial. You can't. You're an yeah, idiot. no, play it, but like, don't let what? it be your first impression of the game because it. I, what does last that even time, mean? It was How super confusing and like not very good. It's, I mean, the, the it problem. The, the problem with it's gigantic not the same tutorial anymore, though. It's not it's the not? same tutorial. No, no it's, it's not. not. Also, oh, well then, fuck also the thing said, about dude. the thing about gigantic that is. It's really fucking hard to make a streamlined tutorial for that game because it is yeah. so complex and so much different than like everything else. Yeah. You can't really rely on people's like base it's understanding it's of other so games. It's hard to explain. It is incredibly difficult to explain what you Gigantic to, is. You have to play but to it understand is it. A fucking fantastic game. And if you know anything about that game's development history, it is impossible to not fucking love Motiga. Oh yeah, I the, fucking love that them. um PC Gamer article. I think it was about yeah. like that was fucking about, crazy. Like reading it, yeah. It's should, it's. Should, I'll, 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 I'll link it. We'll I'll link it. it. Yeah. It'll yeah, link. Really it'll be read. linked in the description. It is an amazing read. I fucking love Motiga. I fucking love Gigantic. Yeah. If we're now talking about single player games, yeah, single player games. Chrono Cross for me. I'm a really? PS one nerd. Yes, I have not. I've. I have not heard like anything about Chrono Cross. I just know that it exists. It's amazing. It's slept on. <laughs> I think it's amazing. Yeah. I think it has one of the best combat systems in any turn-based RPG. I think the music is <laughs> Oh my god. And just uh the story boy. Oh, okay. I'm, All right. I'm, so David, when does your review series start where you okay. just make guttural noises <laughs> for Guys, 20 minutes? My my Genuine review, an, an a genuine review of Chrono Cross is coming soon on my channel. You. On my channel, Bammy T, Bammy <laughs> TV, <laughs> Bammy. It's YouTube.com slash Bammy T, Bammy T TV. There you go. <laughs> now you know how to find it. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I have a single player game that I think I is really slept on. I do. I've I've talked about it several times. Oxen Free. Oxen Free is phenomenal. Oxen Free is a fan fucking tastic game. Yeah, I bought it during the summer sale. Still haven't played it. You really should. It's so fucking good. Oxen Free is like one of the only games I've ever played whose story is improved by the fact that it is a video game. It is mm. such a fucking good game. It's it's a uh, it's sort of uh, like a telltale fucking walk around like do a story that doesn't like, sound talk to people <laughs> no no no, no. i know bad i'm not really selling pitch. it bad elevator no, pitch. i know no i know i'm not i'm not elevator pitching i'm like but like the thing is oxen free like genuinely 
fucking branches. Like, it really fucking branches. Mm, okay. And, like, the way it's written and the way it's presented and the story and the characters and the amount of fucking options it gives you, it's fucking great. And the story itself is super, like, fun. Like, it's a, it's, it's fun and it's, like, they're... It's emotional and it's fucking good. And there's some cringy ass, really fucking clearly not real dialogue in it. Mm -hmm. But I can completely get past it because everything else about it is so fucking good. Also, the music is great. <laughs> I love Oxenfree. I fucking love that game. Go ahead, Cameron. Do you have uh, not really. I don't really have I don't, I don't finish enough single player games at the moment to like. Have mm. one that's no like yeah, they just slept on. Yeah, no leaderboards. <laughs> what am I gonna no do? No leaderboards. No I can't MMR. What's he gonna myself? do? Myself. That's he can't easy. yell at anyone. He can't blame someone just, when he dies. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> you can just start speed running, dude. I mean, yeah, I know Spick, I know Speak Up's line isn't like slept on because it got a really good critical yeah. like stuff, but just like I know it didn't sell a lot of copies when it first launched and stuff like that. So I guess, I mean, I don't know. I don't really know that many games that I've played which I thought were really good. That have been like hmm. nobody played them, but yeah, speak yeah. of playing a good game. <laughs> Play it. at b underscore mask underscore asks. Oh, b mask, my boy. The four Ooh, of you are indefinitely stalled in an indefinitely stalled elevator. Who kills David first? Me. I think yeah. myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say probably me, but yeah, yeah I was gonna no, say David. Avery. Really? It'd be me or I'm David. I'm not even annoying. David. <laughs> okay, that, that sounded you, mean, but like you fucking but like goblin face, gremlin ass motherfucker. You are an, wow, lovable but so annoying sometimes. <laughs> okay, but in an elevator, I oh, think wait, everyone I would be annoyed with each other. That's I have solid. a story about elevators. Go well, ahead. That's not for this podcast. No, well, go ahead. It? Go ahead. Okay. okay. How so dare you, Kyle? There was one time where. <laughs> I was stuck. Uh, it was a day where I I got stuck in an elevator twice for three hours each, and it was six hours in total. Wait, and I remember in, wait, it was in the same day. Yes, twice in the same elevator. Going. Why did you go back in? Why did you go back in? Because they said they fixed it, and it was the. Only I wouldn't way to trust go it. Up. I'd be using the stairs it was for the a only while. Way to go up. They mm. they didn't have the stairs were what? For like the that's police. not up to code. That's police not, that is not up to code. Police <laughs> were using it for something. I don't mm. remember. Anyways, you I was stuck it. in there, and we were like nine people in a small elevator Jesus for three hours. Christ. And I just remember, like, the woman, like, called, and she was like, is everyone okay? How many are there? And we were like, we're nine. And she was, okay, we're coming. And then, like, an hour 30 passes or whatever, and she calls back, and, like, a, a random guy answers, and he's like, yeah, we're eight now. <laughs> <laughs> and the, That's pretty good. And the, the fucking lady started freaking out. Because they they were really slow with like opening the fucking door. We we the fucking elevator didn't even move. Like it, it just, just the doors won't open. That that was it. Anyways, wait, really? And it took them three hours to just open the fucking door. Yes, because the they just weren't. I don't know. It was just Damn. a really bad day. Honestly, yeah, it, it was a like funny a day elevator. though. I made at, I made a friend in there. At Pro Potsy asks, should esports be cons considered a sport? At Propotsy why and why several questions? Uh, no, <laughs> because it's not a sport, dummy. <laughs> David, are you go out David's the only esport player. Aren't you going to dream podcast to play? <laughs> doesn't think it should be Dota a sport. Two tournament? <laughs> Let me tell you something about esports. Esports. <laughs> Do you sweat when you play a League of Legends? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Do you sweat when you play? Dada, I play against the Dada, sweatiest dude. teams, dude. Like I like. That's disgusting. Dude. Do you sweat when you play Overwatch? No. Listen, when I, because Kyle, Kyle does. does. Kyle game. absolutely does. Are you kidding? Well, okay, Kyle turns Kyle, into fucking Aquaman okay, when, when he plays. It's only that fun game. if you okay, sweat, okay, okay, dude. Okay, 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 okay. Let me tell you something. Kyle always needs his gamer towel with him. Speaking of which. You can order a gamer P PSD Shut podcast up. gamer. Shut up. <laughs> yes, I, I don't I don't I don't know about like same thing as like fucking regular sports, but I think it's a very I think it's a legitimate form of competition. I casually yeah, follow. I, I casually I'm, I'm, follow. I'm almost every, offended by the question. Honestly, yeah, I I <laughs> casually follow like pretty much every major esport, and for some fucking reason, I follow this 
fucking smite esports incredibly closely, and I don't know why. I love the fuck out of esports so much, and to the point where in my life, it's one of my dreams is to become like an esports coach. That would be amazing. But like, it's a shame you are not good enough at any game to do that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I know. Yeah, Cameron, I, 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 I think yeah. it should be. Uh, I mean. Maybe not on the same, but like I think it should be shown on TV and shit like that, like alongside on ESPN oh, yeah. and stuff like that. I don't think you should. It should be excluded from these things just because of well, like I mean, remember when they weren't thinking like fucking skateboarding and shit wasn't a sport and stuff like that. Like yeah, it's, and it it's kind of just the same thing. I think it should be treated as a sport. I don't know what exactly it means by saying considered a sport, like as far as like exact definitions go, but. Should it be treated like a sport? Absolutely. I would agree with that. Yeah. At um, bio car, or bio carp at bio underscore carp asked Mississippi in here and seeing at Shammy TV is from Texas. What is the most best slash worst thing about the South? Best thing about the South Mexican food. Worst thing about the South Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. No. Worst thing about the South is the heat. It's the fucking heat. I hate the heat. I'm not a heat boy. Mm. Oh god. Okay. Jeez. Who wants <laughs> to try and recover the podcast from that? At I'm not doing it. Jams, life is strange prequel thoughts. Also, thoughts on prequels putting characters in mortal danger when you know they're alive in the sequel. I find prequels I I don't know. I I if it's good, if it's a good enough prequel, I can lose myself in it, like, to but, an extent. But what if the character dies but comes back again as an angel? <laughs> uh, I you, David. I I, personally... The worst thing about the South is that David may be here someday. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I think... I... Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I think when doing prequels, you shouldn't focus on the character that you, f- that you focus on in the original. I, th- I agree. Like I agree. It's way more interesting. If you go for characters which you don't know, but have an effect on the next movie, so it gives you more insight while also telling an original story. But that's just as for the as for the like, how do you feel about putting the main character in danger when you know they're alive? I'm a a type of person who hates predictableness in like a lot of things, especially (laughs) movies. And like, if I'm just like, well, obviously he doesn't die, then it's just like it's false stress, and it just doesn't work, and I dislike it. Says the most predictable also, person in the podcast. Specific, as, specifically the about fuck the, up, David. Specifically about the. Okay. Uh. All right. It's specifically about the Life is Strange prequel, though. I don't know how it's gonna work. They're gonna have to change their game mechanics. I mean, I didn't play through the 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 first one. Then I got to, up. up to a point of the first episode and just <laughs> switched it off because I was like, uh, uh. But uh, yeah, I don't think it's gonna I work. Really but I hope it does. No, I, I, the fucking thoughts on the Life is Strange prequel, I hope it's good. I hope it's good. Don't not seem like good people. I don't like ripping into, I actually don't like, I, I, I mean, it was kind of cathartic to tear into Life is Strange after hearing so much good shit about it, but I think I was unfair to Life is Strange to an extent, just because I was so sick of hearing so many amazing things about it when I didn't think it was that good. But I hope that the Life is Strange prequel is good. I probably won't be reviewing it because the anti Life is Strange circle jerk is honestly almost as obnoxious at this point as the Life is Strange praise. But I mean, I didn't like the game. I'll, I might play the prequel. I don't know. I hope it's good. At 8 bit asks your guys' thoughts on coffee? Ooh, we're gonna have to censor that. That's a naughty word. Oh what? shit! What or happened? Just... I was not listening to the question at all. Neither. Eight at eight bit. Con- oh, can asks. you stop saying that word? Oh, That's my, oh my God. fucking <laughs> word. <laughs> Fuck! I'm gonna have to censor that too. Stop saying it. No, Cameron's you allowed to say it. Oh, but I'm not. So just kick me out the podcast. <laughs> you guys' thoughts on coffee? I love coffee. I drink it way too much. Yeah, I, yeah. Same. I'm addicted. Avery's, I love... Avery's addicted. I it's have a problem. He has an absolute issue, dude. Yeah, I, I love <laughs> coffee. Like, take it black, man. Like, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, I take it black. Kyle, what was it that? Because like, I said like a sentence to you one time that like made you genuinely concerned about my health in regards to coffee. I was like, 
man, I'm kind of like fucking dead today. And you're like, why don't you drink some coffee? And I was like, I've had six cups. And you're like, it is noon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. <laughs> when it's a few hours into you waking up and you're like, my head's starting to hurt. And I'm like, oh my God, it's 9 a.m. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I, I, am, I am very, very addicted to coffee. I yeah. dislike coffee, and maybe a large part of that comes from how addicted Avery is, but I just don't, like, I understand why people like it a lot, and then That's it gives fair. the energy, but my perspective is just, like, if you don't use it, you won't get used to having it, and therefore you'll just get it done other ways. I drink it because I love the taste. I do, too. I love I the way coffee tastes. I hate the taste. Love the taste. I fucking love oh the way black God. coffee tastes. Good I can't coffee? pick a side. Good uh, black, black coffee, coffee is so, good. Is so amazing. Cameron, which Can side are you on? The, oh. the adult side or the child side? Hey, you know those middle-of-the-road people? <laughs> <laughs> Cameron's a fucking claimer of a person. Pussy. <laughs> Cameron, no, Cameron drinks half you know what? Your new name on this podcast is half and half. <laughs> no, no, no. No, legitimately though, um, I'm an, a very an occasional drinker of coffee. Like, I like the taste and stuff. I just don't drink it a lot. I just, once in a while, I'll be like, yeah, I feel like coffee. And then I have one. And then that's it. Having having a coffee machine at work, just this, dude, I just drink coffee all the time. And it's good coffee too. Ah, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Question for all of you at Daedraic, mm -hmm. D A E D R A E C. Q for all of you. What is the dumbest thing you've done? I was hoping we wouldn't touch that one. <laughs> Not because I have a bad story, but, but because just because I can't. None. Yeah. None that yeah, we can I tell. I didn't know. Yeah. Like, some of us <laughs> have of ones that we right? Some of us have ones that we found out after the fact we couldn't tell. I mean, I tell all this mine. This sounds on the very podcast. specific and targeted to sort towards someone in this podcast, and I wonder who it is. <laughs> 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 Anyways, I, I don't know. I don't think I have something like when when people ask us like, "What's your biggest like fuck up? What's your dumbest yeah, it's moment? A what's stupid the question? Whatever thing." Stupid it's question. like I can't hey, ever think hey, of like one that's like is like what, whole what fuck. What was his name? What was his name? Who, oh, I don't. Who has that? Uh, Daedric that? dude. Daedric. Daedric. Your Daedric. Question that's spelled Daedric. Weird. Whoa. Your question Back off, my boy. Daedric. Daedric. No, but you're your the question? one who spelled out his name as if you couldn't stupid. fucking pronounce it. No, he said he had a dumb question. What are you, what are you fucking talking wow, about, Cameron? I guess what, what you Daedric? You're not the stupidest person here. Cameron is. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Wait. I have a Weeg yeah, 9797 ahead. asked, what are your most anticipated games of 2017 slash 2018? Uh, okay, I'll start. Uh, probably Souls Battlefront 2 and uh, A Way Out would be my two. And the I've got a reason behind Battlefront 2. Didn't we answer that in E3? <laughs> I don't I, did we? Uh, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Well, anyway. Kinda. Uh, maybe. Anyway, uh, Battlefront 2 because... The writer for it is um, is the writer of Speak Up the Lines, so I kind of respect. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, co-writing with um, okay, another well, dude. okay. The thing about that though mm -hmm. is the reason Speck Ops the Line was so good is because it was the writer with no limitations. Yeah, like, I know. I don't think EA is going to be that generous. But I don't. I feel like I don't think EA or Disney are going to be that generous. Did yeah, you imagine like, Disney greenlighting something as fucking dark as Spec Ops the Line? Uh, well, <laughs> have you seen their 1920s com uh, animated series for the war? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think that was a different <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, do you, are you familiar with their 1920s no. shit about the war? Let's not, let's not talk about it. Okay. Disney family friendly. They made they, they made they made they made Donald Duck a Nazi. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Did you not? Know Walt Disney. Talk? Walt Disney was an anti semite. <laughs> he was like that, during the whole thing. He was just like Heil Hitler, Heil Hitler. Yep. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he did the fucking. Yep. Mine would. Oh, I have a good. I have a. Mine I have an would answer be for this question. Oh, do you already have? Do okay. you, oh, Lawbreakers is, is good. Yeah, Lawbreakers Sorry. and Destiny. There you go. I'm not. I don't really have one. I don't even know. Yeah, what's I don't coming think I have out. one either. I don't, I don't even really know exactly what's, what's coming out, out in 2017. Destiny All I can think about this stuff I saw at E3. It's a good thing. It's not my job. Kyle. Okay. I thought right. you were excited for Destiny. What are you talking I about? I am, but I don't know if that's like my most in like okay, Wolf and I mean, the what, new Wolfenstein oh, game. Oh yeah, Ooh. Wolfenstein the new Colossus is if probably that, gonna I don't be know if that's twenty seventeen or twenty eighteen. That's twenty seventeen. It's, it's twenty seventeen. Oh. 
comes then out. That's month. probably mm-hmm. up there. Two months. No, the new Colossus. I'm very excited about that. I love the new order. Um, a way out. I really want to see how it goes. And then I think, really yeah, more. I think yeah. a way out is going to either be really fucking good or like a I big think, missed I'm, opportunity. I'm putting my money Actually, you on know what? really good. You I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be my good. most my <laughs> most anticipated game of 2017 is Ark Survival Evolved. Shut the fuck up. Shut because up. it's releasing, guys. Never forget. Isn't it already really? Oh, whatever. Right. Um, no, it's, it's at, wait early has access. It? I don't get at, shit. At whatever. Blizzick thirty six asks, where did you literally all said, get your names? Like a My minute parents. ago, that I right. had a question. question. Shut the <laughs> fuck up, Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my parents as well. I, uh, Kyle's is Gypsy Curse. <laughs> <laughs> Undoubted Gypsy Curse. That was yeah. Uh, yep. When yeah, I'm adopted? Adopted? Wait, what, what do question? you think happens when you adopt a child, Kyle? <laughs> what question yeah. is happening? What is happening? Stephen <laughs> Blizzard 36 asks, <laughs> where did you all get your names? Wolves. That was the Everybody's question. Talking Let's answer the, same the time. question. Let's answer the question. Fucking, where did we get our fucking online handles? I'm not answering mine. Why not? Yeah, I like I, it that, being the a reason mystery. I didn't bring that up is because I figured mm. Avery didn't want to bring or uh, answer. I don't. It's a mystery. I like it being a mystery. Ooh. Um. I'll say mine. It's not the I... towel, for the record. It's not fucking ShamWows. Well, Shit! There goes my Life bit. ruined. <laughs> I, am I the only one here who knows? Besides I think Avery? so, yeah. I think, you, I think you are. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Well, I'll say mine, um, which is Sir Zulu. Uh, I went through a lot of horrible names, as we discussed earlier, and I decided I really Virgin wanted a name X, that's... TX Bag X. <clears throat> I said I really wanted a name that would that I can just stick with. And uh, when I was younger, I had a green and pink stuffed animal zebra that was like that I was attached to for my infancy. And uh, his name was Zulu. And looking in my closet one day while trying to figure out a new name, I saw him thought of Zulu. And I'm like, Zulu is an awesome name, but it's always taken. So then I threw Sir in front of it and it's a lot less taken. Um, I, I used to have a shitty gamer tag on, uh, Xbox Live called Studied Statue, then I changed it to PB Badger, then Casual Badger, and, uh, then I was like, I don't like either of these, and so I tried to change it to Super, super Sneaky Sheep, but it was too long, uh, for, for, for Xbox, and then I was like, oh, okay, and then I got rid of the, the, the Y, <laughs> and here we are today. Uh, for me, it's, uh, uh, I like cats. Okay. Well, I like cats. I think this is going to be. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. No, I just like cats, dude. You just like cats in your search. Everybody just send me cats on Twitter again. Okay. So this is the, uh, this is going to be the last question. This is the one we're closing on. It is at Talon MG asked. What's something you each have an unnecessarily strong opinion Ooh, about? I know and I anyone. Was with this one because oh. there's anyone, so many each of us have. I'm anyone sure. who knows me knows my two wait, wait, big I, ones. I want to say one of them. I want to say go one ahead. of them. Go ahead. Go ahead. Y'all is a proper contraction of is that you a, all. That's how you sound. Fuck you. Is it how I sound? Because it is a fucking proper contraction <laughs> of you all. Contraction, y'all. Y'all is a proper contraction of you all. It is if you are oh against God, people stop, saying y'all. Stop. Listen, you shut get, the fuck okay. up. No, David, David gets so David, angry. You anger yourself, and then you David, you start talking. You are for not letting five me minutes. fucking talk, David. Let on him go. my fucking podcast. Can we skip? Can just, we skip? Turn his voice into a small listen. Japanese boy for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. I thought it was our podcast. Listen. Go ahead, Avery. All I'm saying is if you are against y'all as a contraction, you should not say can't, isn't, it's, don't, doesn't, haven't, he's, she's, weave, weed, any of those. cheese? (laughs) You can't prove that. I was speaking Japanese. Uh, (laughs) He said weed at one point. I heard it. Weed. W E apostrophe D. Get your mind Fuck out yeah, of the bl- fucking yo, gutter. Blaze it, boys. Get your mind out of the devil. XD. The other one is that Fahrenheit is a more useful temperature than Celsius in 99% of cases. Yo. Apart from cooking. Uh, well, there you go. Or science. Apart from cooking. And science. 
and science. Science doesn't use fucking Celsius, Cameron. They use Kelvin. Ooh. How, your, how many degrees off Celsius is that again? I forget. It's 273. Hmm. It's still a different fucking measurement. It's not Celsius, you cunt. It's my <laughs> That's fucking <his> degree. <laughs> <laughs> That's Fuck. pretty much it. I just have incredibly strong opinions about those two things. Oh yeah, what just what those two. I like that no one will even start the discussion because they don't want me to yell about it. Yeah, yeah I mean, I've heard it. Start, I've heard everything. Because it's when you start, you make yourself angry by talking do. about it. No, I make myself angry because people like, make the same stupid fucking arguments every there you single go. You time. See, he's angry now. No, because because this <laughs> the exact same fucking argument every single fucking time and no one has a different fucking argument. It's like, but water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Look, he's drunk. David, David. see what you did, David? At zero degrees Celsius. See what you Celsius. did, David? Uh, it's so easy. Is it so fucking hard to remember 32 degrees? Is it so <laughs> fucking hard to remember See that? what you did, David? Because, you fucking moron. Listen. Sh oh my sh god. No. When you fucking boil water, you do not measure the fucking fire to be a hundred oh degrees Celsius. You just fucking God. put the water on top of the fire and it boils. It doesn't fucking matter what temperature it is. It doesn't <laughs> matter. So what matters is that zero degrees is with zero degrees Celsius to a, not fucking zero degrees Fahrenheit to a hundred degrees Fahrenheit is a survivable human fucking range. When you are measuring Relative to the human body, which is when you're measuring temperature outside, you should be measuring by the survivable human range, not by the boiling temperature of fucking water! That's all I wanted to say. Yeah, but like, I was brought up using Celsius, so... Oh my god, no, 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 I mean... Okay, if you were brought up using Celsius, Celsius is still, like... Stop. I'm not switching to Fahrenheit halfway through my life. I know, you Switching to Fahrenheit does not make sense. I'm not saying you should switch to Fahrenheit. I'm oh just saying Fahrenheit God. is better than Celsius for general yes. use. Objectively, Fahrenheit is a stronger measuring system than Celsius. Okay, the human can body. We... David, what do you have stupid Which opinions about? what you about? fucking measure for 99% of the time. I don't know what I have opinions about. I probably do, but I don't remember them. Sorry, Cameron, when you fucking you know go outside what? where you're like, man, if I was an ice cube, I would be melting right now. <laughs> <at least> 40 <laughs> degrees. Fuck off. <laughs> Cause when I get angry about something, I forget about it quickly because I'm a happy person. That is not true. <laughs> oh really? Okay. What am I mad about? Not mad. You're just sad. <laughs> what am I sad about? Apparently Your name on the fucking Celsius server is, is Sadman. Yeah, but why? How did I get that? It just because happened. You're a sad I boy. <laughs> am I a sad boy? I'm not very sad. Hey. YouTube comments. Am I sad? No, I'm not. I have like too many things that I probably have really unnecessarily strong opinions about to remember right now, and I'm gonna remember like six of them as soon as we stop recording, guaranteed. Uh, probably. Kyle, Cameron? you have unnecessarily strong opinions about following the meta in video games. <laughs> no. Yes, you I do. wouldn't even call that unnecessarily strong opinion. I'm talking like more ridiculous, like. I only wear my socks on two zones. I don't know. Uh, I don't think I have any. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like all my opinions are justified, and I'm right in all senses. Wow. Yeah, oh, I agree shit. with that guy. I mean, you I think New Zealand that. is a real place? Yeah. I, okay. All right. Oh, well, uh, I don't like it when oh. I'm being called an Australian, or uh, well, actually, I don't like it when David mocks my accent. Because <laughs> David turns into all the like twists. Well, that's not unnecessarily though. That's like very warranted. Exactly. Is... That's what I'm saying. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, that's significantly better than what you tried earlier. Yeah, that Crikey. was the that... You did a fucking Chinese accent earlier. Crikey's not yeah. even New Zealand. That's fucking Australia. That's not even. That's fucking Australia. Get here, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everybody. I think that's it. I think we're done. I think okay, we should go yeah. ahead and plug our shit. We've been going for a while. Yeah. yeah. I just want to say that uh, next week, uh, from Friday to Sunday, I'm going to be at Otakuthon in Montreal. So if you see me, come come say hi to me. Also, oh, we're probably right. going to be switching to bi weekly we're probably, format. Yes, we're probably going oh, yeah, to be switching the that. podcast to a bi-weekly format because it just, it's... 
just it makes easier. more it's, sense that way. It makes more sense for all of us for if it it is biweekly. So mm. yep, there will probably but, not be an episode next week, and but fine. the yeah. week afterward, and then from then but on, we'll we will be starting our weekly play series next week, starting with <laughs> <Shut> Minecraft. <laughs> Don't up. say that adventure game. Don't say that. People will think it's real. <laughs> and then they're gonna be. Like, We're starting a Minecraft playing. server. <laughs> How, oh, Cameron? Have you seen YouTube? <laughs> Uh, are you familiar? I mean, we might we might have some bonus videos we can throw in like on our off don't weeks. But don't don't okay, fine, whatever. Say anything. Everyone is promising things idiot. without. I fine. said might. <laughs> that, yeah, might a is yes. a promise on YouTube. <laughs> nah. Okay, everyone, plug your shit before you promise something else. Promise weekly reviews. Well. What's that? You promise <laughs> weekly? <laughs> you heard it here first. Follow me on Twitter at ShamiTV. Follow me on Twitch at ShamiYT. Follow me on YouTube. You already fucking know where it is. Oh my oh, god. Sh <laughs> oh shit. shit. Oh my god. <laughs> well, there was a question that we didn't answer, which was who is the biggest guy? And I think we just found. <laughs> I'm enormous. Uh, you can follow me <laughs> on Twitter at SuperStation. Kyle! Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Super Snake Sheep. I I tweet there. Maybe I'll do other things. Maybe you can too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can follow me on Twitter at SirZulu underscore. Don't follow David. You Don't can follow, follow me on Twitter at Sir Meow Music. You can follow me on Twitch at Sir Meow Music. You can follow me on SoundCloud at Sir Meow Music. You can follow me on Spotify at Sir Meow. <laughs> it sounds awkward every time. It sounds just all right. Great. Goodbye, done. everybody. Celsius Goodbye. is better. Bye. Bye. Celsius Bye. is better.